Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for whenever it resonates. We're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind, this reading may or may not be for you. And the timing is fluid. So what do we got? What do we got? What kind of message do I have to deliver today? I think there's a sudden attraction because I just saw the eight of eight, the ace, the ace of wands, and then we get the and then I, I was, obviously was going to say eight of wands, which is that's the rods of love. A lot of people don't mention it, but it is. It's also uh, communication messages being hit. Okay, being hit by a sudden attraction. Or a, the, the Eight of Wands can also be uh, good news arriving on swift wi wings or swift uh, news arriving, you know, something happening very fast. And the Ace of Wands is a new uh, attraction, sudden, instant, instant attraction, uh, sudden desire, uh, something like that. Oh! Ace of Swords. Now, this is a new idea, a new approach, a wake-up call, an awakening, uh, a new thought, right? This is a new idea, right? Okay. I see it. This is, I see it, okay? The same with the Ace of Wands. This is uh, a clarity, okay? I see it clearly. There's some sort of clarity here. This is, um, hmm. We have a new opportunity that is coming in. It's clear, too. It's a clear opportunity um, to take a new approach or to come up with something new. This is a new idea or a new thought. And this is a new opportunity, period. It's an awakening of some sort. That is a wake-up call. Ooh, Nine of Cups. Somebody's not happy, though. That's dissatisfied. Nine of Cups reversed. Looking for deep fulfillment. Waiting for deep fulfillment. Wanting it. I want it. I want it. I want it. I want it. But I don't have it. I don't have it. I don't have it. This is like coming up with a new approach. I see that there's an opportunity. Oh. Oh, but you might have to. You may have to let go of something to get what you deserve. To get what you want. So you have to. You, that's the, what the story is. Okay, you gotta get rid of something to get what you really deserve. So we've got somebody here that is thinking. They're thinking about what is gonna make them happy. They probably have seen something. They have seen something and they, they see it clearly that this is, you know, very attractive because I saw the Ace of Wands. They've It's like they've seen a very attractive opportunity and they want it. And right now they're in a, a situation that they're not very satisfied with. But in order to get, they have to give, okay? Or they have to exchange, or they have to make some sort of choice, you know? Um, I think you, this is like give and take. You may have to take something away to get what you want, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, it's a choice between two. Okay, it's a choice between two lovers, and this is very unexpected. So I think we have somebody here that has, and they may have run into, because you think about the Eight of Wands. Something happens fast, you may run into somebody, and there's sparks. The Ace of Wands is sparks. Sparks fly. There's a connection. You feel it, you know? Now, this is an attraction, and I think it's a sudden attraction, but then again, you have to make a choice now because this is a card of choice. And somebody may already be in a commitment. They may already be in a relationship, and the only way to go towards the this new connection is to disconnect from this one to detach, okay? So I think we have somebody that is in a state of conflict because they got this new idea, they got this new vision, they got this new attraction, this new thought. And it's like they want to go in that direction, but in order to get there, they're going to have to take away from one to give to the other. There's probably going to be a separation in the near future um, so that somebody can open their heart and go after the person that they are thinking about, that they are crushing after, that, you know, they, they, you know, feel this connection with, this new connection. I feel as though we have somebody here that is, is probably dreaming. They may be love struck. They're love struck, but they're probably already in a commitment that they are not satisfied in. Okay. Their meet needs are not being met. Um, in some way. 
Oh, okay. Seven of Swords. Now, this is deception. This is cheating. This is lies. And they, this prob person probably would love to give to this new one. But, you know, can they get away with it? You know, and they're probably thinking about it. Can I get away with it? You know? Um, we have somebody here that is not in a happy relationship. And maybe they cheat. Maybe it's a serial cheater. Okay? There is such thing. So maybe, you know, they've got their eye on somebody new. They got this new attraction. We do have a relationship that is on the rocks, okay? Relationship that is on the rocks. We have a relationship that is not doing so well. And somebody is, this is thinking, okay? This is thinking, okay? They're thinking about cheating or they're thinking about getting out of there they could be thinking about getting out of there they could be thinking about how they're going to leave how they're going to get out of there so that could be the case as well maybe it's not about cheating they could be thinking about everything you know how how can i go after this person that i am interested in you know what 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 do i how do i do this that's what this is we have somebody here that is in a very unhappy relationship and they got this they're trying to come up with the approach okay they're coming up with the approach of how they can take away from one to give to the other so that's what we got going on here hard to restrain we have somebody here that is having a hard time restraining themselves they are they you got to be careful because when you get the strength reversed, there's a vulnerability. They may be looking for somebody that's vulnerable, somebody that is weak, somebody that has low self-esteem, somebody that lacks confidence, um, somebody that, you know, lacks respect for themselves. So just be careful. We could have somebody here that um, is needing some sexual attention. Okay, I just got to be honest with you. And so they're looking for somebody that lacks self-esteem and self-worth and whatever to feed their ego. Because this is ego. Maybe they're not being satisfied at home and they're just looking for, you know, that instant gratification. And they're thinking up a way of how they can get this instant gratification. They definitely have ran into somebody that they are attracted to. And I think that they're trying to come up with a plan of how they can get away with it. So just be careful, okay? Um, yeah, third party. Yeah, that's what we got here. You, you know, you definitely need to be careful about who you are engaging with, who you are working with. It feels as though you could be dealing with somebody who is already in a relationship and they, they may... Um, be offering you some sort of premature love, okay, some premature emotion just to get you in bed. Okay, that's what I see. That is what I see. If, you know, whether you are married or coupled or whatnot, this person is looking for somebody that is weak and somebody that is vulnerable. You got to be careful not to repeat the same lessons, repeat the same mistakes that you have made. Okay? This could be somebody from your past that wants, that may be, you know, telling you they wanted a reconcile, reconciliation with you. They may, you know, this has already ended, right? Because before this is the death card, something has already ended. They may, you know, say whatever they got to say. But you need to be really careful and make sure that they're just testing the waters. They're seeing what they can do. They're seeing if you're weak. They're seeing if you're strong. They're seeing if they still have any power over you. You know, um, they, maybe they want to keep control. Maybe they've started to lose control. This could be a narcissist just saying. Now they want to they want to dip their feet in to keep the control. Okay, maybe, you know, whatever. I'm just saying, um, be careful, be careful with your decisions. Um, be patient. If somebody wants to have a relationship with you, they won't be in a hurry. Okay. They'll give you time. All right. Um, this is about higher learning. Somebody has come a long way. Don't, don't take, uh, two steps forward and then three steps back. Okay. I feel like, um, stay true to yourself. Stay true to yourself. This is a time of evolution. It's a time of change. Do not, um, 
go back to repeating the same lessons that you have already learned, unless, of course, you haven't learned them. Do you know what I'm trying to say? You need to be grounded. I think we have somebody here that wants to keep somebody trapped or they want to keep somebody stuck on them. If this is somebody from the past. So be really careful. I think that we have somebody that has cheated or has betrayed somebody. Maybe it's a previous relationship and they want to use sex as a way to keep control. And I know that's going down a different road, but if you think about the Ace of Wands, that is definitely a sexual energy and I see sexual energy here. I also feel for some of you, there is somebody that is coming in that you have a connection with. It's a, it, I think it's a sexual attraction. I'm just going to be honest with you. Or this person has one towards you and they may see vulnerability. They may see somebody that lacks self-esteem and lacks self-worth and lacks self-confidence. And this is their opportunity to take advantage of them. It does not lead to happily ever after. Just so you know. I feel like whoever is doing the approaching is a liar. They could be a cheater. They will not stick around. It will probably end in tears. And if I was you, I would be patient and I would wait. I would wait for somebody that is going to prove themselves. The Eight of Wands is moving fast. Somebody is going to receive messages and this person is going to want to move fast. They're, wanna, they're going to want to, you know, get naked really, really fast. That is a red flag. Of course, if you're easy, then hey. Everybody knows it. Good luck.